Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of the Hermitcraft Season 5 server my friends. Thank you so much for joining me and indeed for the amount of support you showed in the last episode with the base tour with Izuma. Very much appreciated my friends. Now, uh, yeah, you, you, you may be able to notice that I'm in some sort of glass dome right now. I, I didn't do this. <laughs> I, I did not do this. So I was AFK a whole bunch at this uh, this uh, new island area, which we're going to be beginning working in this episode. I was AFK trying to look up for look up some ideas, or maybe just jot down some ideas for themes for this island. And uh, yeah, my good neighbour false decided to come over and and glass myself in. That, that's that's great. Thank you. <laughs> It's hilarious. But uh, yeah, she did come over and she was like, oh, hey, that's all good and stuff. I'll just put 10 out of 10 with glass space again. Yeah, it's uh, it's great. Well, then again, she, she probably did me a service in terms of, you know, protecting me against mobs. And, you know, at the very least, if she wasn't aiming on doing that, then I got myself a bunch of free glass. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this, guys. But as always, guys, let's head into the fan art for today's episode, which comes from Dragon Z 21 They decided to sketch out my Minecraft Creeper character with Bolly. Bolly being my good pet parrot on my single-player Minecraft survival series. And I love it. I love it. It's ever so cute. I love everything about it. Like, it, it just seems so cute. That's what I love most about it. I love the details that's got into the parrot and everything. It's really, really nice. So uh, that's that's a nice little ode to myself and Bolly on the single player series. So thank you very much, Dragon Z. I appreciate it, buddy. So yeah, Force left me this glass base, and uh, you know, on the other side of what I was saying, maybe, just maybe, she's starting something that we can't stop. I mean, she is my neighbour after all. She's way over there with that, uh, with those stone buildings and whatnot. So I'm not even entirely sure if there's spoilers at this point. But, uh, <laughs> she may be starting something that can't be stopped. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe I need to go do something over there, you know. Get a little bit of revenge, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know yet, guys. But, uh, yeah. In the meantime, check it out. We've got ourselves like a stack and a half of glass, which is pretty cool. In the meantime, I do have myself an ender chest very randomly sat down over here for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And uh, yeah, inside of course is all of the shulker boxes that I finally organized in the last episode before I toured Izuma's base, so that is pretty cool. So, I'm thinking the first thing we need to do on this island, okay, is we need to light it up and then probably rid all of the trees, guys. So, I'm thinking... Oh, jeez, hello. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. How you all doing? My name is Python, and I'm a zombie killer. Get wrecked. <laughs> Anyways, I'm thinking that a third person time lapse is in order, my friends. We're going to go ahead, chop down trees. We're going to light it all up, and then we're going to see what exactly we have to work with here. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. I'm actually in a uh, uh, <coughs> non-disclosed <coughs> location to get myself a bunch of red sand because we're going to make a start on our island project, my friends. The time has finally come. So I've got myself some red sand because in a creative test world, in my building world, I've been trying to come up with some designs for sort of a block palette that I want to use for the, for the island. So... Yes, I think the best thing to do would be to head back and then I'm going to show you guys what I've come up with on my creative test world. Alright guys, and welcome back to my building test world of testness. 
and stuff. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to be going ahead and doing sort of the desert slash beach portion of our island project first. And I've got a few concepts going on here. So starting off with the sort of generic pathways going through the island, I thought it would be a nice idea to use a combination of red sand to try and break up the textures between the path block and the sand blocks, which I don't know, I feel like it works kind of well. And in addition to that, we've got some acacia fences because, you know, they kind of match up the colours, right? Sort of ready orange. We've got some dead bushes around and this is my first attempt at like a, a, a palm tree kind of thing. I think it needs to be a little bit taller but uh, I think I've got this thing under wraps already pretty much. I mean I don't want them to be too big. I think this is around the right size but like I say maybe just a little bit taller. So in terms of the pathways that go against the water, I've kind of got two concepts here. We've got this one here, which uses smooth sandstone and birch fences. So very, very yellowy. And it seems to be all on the same level as the water. Now this one here, this is elevated off the water slightly. And this one uses red sandstone. And as you can see, it uses red sandstone stairs. So the top of the sandstone block looks pretty cool. And then we've got the nice contrast with the use of the birch fences. Although, I am kind of tempted to just give this a go real quick. Uh, do you know what? I actually kind of prefer the contrast of the birch fences. Hmm. Okay. And then on the opposite side, we just got ourselves some uh, regular sandstone slabs. Again, to try and contrast it a little bit. Give it a little bit more pizzazz. We've got ourselves acacia logs here, which I think look pretty okay. But I kind of want to put something on top of them, maybe? So something like that, but not that. Hmm. What about red sandstone slabs? Uh, let's give that a go real quick. Nah. You see, I don't like it because it makes it too tall. Hmm. And I don't even think there's really any carpets that I would want to put down either. I mean, what if I tried brown carpet, for example? Uh, nah. It's not working, is it? Hmm. Okay, right. Well, anyways, these are the two designs I've got going for the pathways against the water line. Uh, we're going to be sticking with this pathway design for sort of the pathway going through the islands. We've got ourselves a palm tree design like, there, like I said. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. I may have to make a decision here. And I'm almost thinking that this one might be the one I like. I kind of like the fact that there's not that much wood being used. So, yeah. Alright, I think it's time to head back into Hermitcraft and start getting on with this. Alright guys, so it is a beautiful morning. Look at that sunrise over there next to the penta beacon beams of awesomeness. Oh boy, they look so good. But anyways guys, we are going to start on doing this thing. So what a, one slight amendment I'd quite like to make is trying to implement the top sandstone texture of the regular sandstone stairs. I think that would look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and begin on this pattern. So there we go. Now the reason I put the stairs how they were is because I didn't really want the, the gap. Uh, but then again... The water is acting strangely around this. Huh. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure that I like this. I don't think it, I don't think it looks right. I just don't think it looks right. It's one of those weird things, man. Oh man. All right. Well, in which case, I'm just gonna go and do this, and then do a little bit of this, and then uh, whip those babies out, and then we can just do a little bit of this. Eh, why not? Okay, cool. Right, all we're going to do, very simply, is make ourselves a whole bunch of stuff. So let's do this. Uh, let's do that. Uh, we'll put a couple like that. Okay, and then we just go ahead and do a very simple pattern, you know. It's not going to be anything too extravagant or anything like that. It's just going to be pretty simple, which... Do you know what? Sometimes in Minecraft, simpler things are better. It's just kind of a thing. It is. There we go. Yeah, okay, looking good. Right, let's go ahead and do it over here. Uh, so it's going to go up to there. So one, two, three. Let's try and maybe get the gaps correct. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty decent. One, two, three. Let's do that one. And then there. So, yeah, we're just going to shield this off from the elements, essentially. Uh, so it should be pretty simple, all things considered. So let's do that. And then, yeah, we're going to start on making some little palm trees and some pathways. Maybe, just maybe, I was looking uh, on Google Images for some, uh, like, tropical house suggestion type things. And I saw a lot of, like, houses on stilts. 
pop-up made out of wood, which I thought was a really cool idea. So maybe we could give that a go as well. I think we could have ourselves a proper little tropical island uh, beach type thing here. And then obviously when we go and land, there could be like some more substantial builds or something like that. I think it could be a good idea. But at the very least, I just want to have this be like a, like a beach of some description. So in the comments area below, what I would like you guys to do as like uh, as like a little bit of homework it's not really homework at all actually <laughs> as a little bit of a oh hey i could maybe deal with some suggestions is uh, suggest a theme for the island like what kind of building theme do you guys think we should go for on this island leave your responses in the comments area below i would be interested to maybe try something out that i haven't done before and more to the point that i'm not doing currently either on here or on any other series so uh, modern building styles i'm already kind of doing that on my single player let's play so i don't know that kind of leaves like overgrown and uh, and some other sort of more extravagant type styles of builds like end related builds you know really crazy stuff go ahead down to the comments area suggest a theme for the builds of this island but one thing i do know is i want to make the beach into a nice little tropics area because I think that would just look awesome. So talking of tropics area, what would be a cool idea is if we went ahead and did this. Uh, huh. I want to try and get this right. So, I've got some string. Now let's grab these two out. And what I want to try and do real quick is I want to do a little bit of that. And can I make... If I just make these float, would I be able to put those on top? Uh, huh. Okay, I mean the concept works, but I think it needs a bit more. Hmm, you see what people tend to do when they do this kind of thing is put beds down. And honestly, that is not a bad idea. Should we go for a, a, a bed umbrella? Hmm. I think first of all we need to go ahead and replace this with uh, with some sort of wood pole because I don't think that really works cobble really doesn't work with the build style at all I'm not happy about it. So yes, right. Give me a sec guys I'm gonna see what think kind of things I can come up with <laughs> Sunflowers Thanks God. Yeah, buddy I was looking for some uh, sunflower. Sadly, the tiny little sunflower plains biome that we have near original spawn, uh, it, it didn't have any. And uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, I actually only needed one sunflower because, you know, I could just bone me all the rest, right? So I got myself a two tall rose bush and I got myself a two tall sunflower, which means I can go ahead and get red and yellow dye to my heart's content, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. What is that? What is that? Oh, hang on. Eh, go on, ping pong master. Go on. Oh, come on. I can get this guy. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, how am I missing this guy? Yeah, get wrecked, son. Seriously, what is that? I want to see. That looks amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, looks like some sort of demonic entrance. Am I spoiling something here? OHO forward operating base. Authorized personnel only. Nah, <laughs> you see, I'm thinking that's uh, an ender pearl thing, but uh, yeah, I don't have any ender pearls, so yeah. What? <laughs> wow. Huh? Not bad. <laughs> Oh, G G G B. Okay, so me laughing turned into a, a coughing fit. Fantastic. Well, that's one way to get that challenge done. <laughs> ah, all about that red dye. Thank you very much. There we go. Uh, so we need a little bit of that and then a bunch of red wool. There we go. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just about ready to make a start on this thing. So, uh, I would also like to try and grab myself some birch stairs of some description. Some birch slabs and birch, birch stairs, sorry. There we go. Uh, so, a little bit of that. Cub fan is sleeping. What a guy. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I've made a little bit of an amendment to the design in that uh, I've just got some red... In fact, I've got smooth red sandstone on the undersides of the... Uh, on the undersides of the birch fences because again I kind of like the contrast quite a lot actually so 
yeah, I think it looks pretty decent anyway. Right, so I think the next thing I'd quite like to do is maybe make a little bit of a start on some of the pathways here. And as I showed on the creative world, it's going to be made out of, uh, you know, grass path blocks with some red sand as a bit of an accent sort of dotted around the edges. So, for example, if I was to go ahead and put that into practice, uh, I need to grab some red, uh, red sand out to start off. So I could maybe put a bit of red sand here and then maybe sort of, you know, round off some of the edges here and there. So maybe one there as well. Obviously, we want the pathway to still be a pathway, but we want it to be sort of, you know, kind of messy at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So let's maybe just extend it over this way. And once again, we can maybe just start, start dotting some of these bits around. Uh, stuff on there. Why not? And then once again, grab the grass and do a little bit of this. Now, we're not going to do this all episode because I want to move on to doing some uh, little do it do, doing some little things rather like this and rather like this now what do those look like ladies and gentlemen if you're guessing some beds you would be quite correct in fact to make them even more into some beds might it be an idea for me to do this would that look some bedish uh, ah that might be an issue huh I can't, uh, I can't, ah, dang it, well that really sucks actually. Ah, I really wish I could. I really wish I could make that work, but sadly not. I mean, unless I just move them slightly off like this. Or, better still, if I go ahead and do something entirely different, like maybe what I can do, if I put this like that, and then I could put this one like this, and then maybe we could have ourselves like another one over here. Uh, or maybe I could space them out just a little bit more. Uh, maybe we can have like three sunbeds that are sort of around the place or uh, around the... What's the word I'm looking for? Around the umbrella? Hmm. Because that's what I'm wanting to do. I want to put up like an umbrella. I don't know how it's going to look though. So let's grab out a birch fence. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of that. And then we need to place down some string around it. Rather like this. I think we need to do it all the way round as well. So, here we go. Boom, boom. Oh, no, hang on. Uh, boom, and a boom. Right, I think that's all good to go. So, if I was to go ahead and uh, just pillow up real quick, and if I do this, I should be able to make myself a bit of an umbrella. Uh, okay. So, should we do like a cross shape? I mean, why not, right? Let's have ourselves a bit of a cross shape. And there we go. A bit of an umbrella. Hmm. I'm really thinking that these should be closer into it, though. I know, obviously, we won't really be able to walk around it, but this is more for the sake of aesthetics. So, yeah, I'm going to move all of these sunbeds inwards, and then, yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, this is something I don't think I've ever done before. Going ahead and shearing up a whole bunch of dead bushes. You know what? I don't think I've ever built with dead bushes before, either. So, this may just be a Minecraft first for me in my personal Minecraft history, you know, another another thing crossed off the old list in terms of things being used to build things. So as a I'm trying to I'm trying to get myself basically a stack of these things. They aren't as common as I first thought they would be in the desert by me. You have to really, you know, go hunting for them. Like for example, I've gone quite far north because that is where the nearest desert biome is for me. Even though it's quite a small desert biome, it should still be enough to provide uh, a stack of dead bushes. Now, can you put dead bushes in flower pots? If so, then I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because I think that looked pretty cool beside the little umbrella settle thing. Settle thing? The seating thing, you know, with the umbrella and everything. I think that looked kind of cool. So, yeah. Let's go and grab some more of these and let's see what we can do. Alright guys, so here we go. This is what I've got going on so far. I've got myself an umbrella, which is kind of... I don't know, I kind of like this. And uh, yeah, we've got ourselves the three little chairs right here. Now, let's go ahead and place down a little entrance to this little seating area here. And let us see if we can do this. Oh, you can! You can place dead bushes within them. Okay, that's actually really, really awesome because that means I can now use that as a decorative feature. But in the meantime, I want to do some other things in terms of decorating, including putting some random dead bushes on the ground, almost as if to give the illusion that this is a desert biome, even though it's not. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking this so far. I'm kind of liking this. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, I need to chuck down torch. There we go. Every torch is sacred. There we go. So yeah, the uh, the random fence 
you know, here and there, I think looks pretty good as well. And, uh, yeah, just in general, I think everything is looking pretty okay. Now, I would still like to give a go uh, making a, you know, a palm tree in survival Minecraft. Obviously, I did it in a creative mode, so we need to go ahead and give it a go in survival. So, we've got ourselves some cocoa beans, we've got some wood stuffs. Uh, might it be an idea to grab some of those out as well? And, uh, yeah, I think... I think the first location we're going to put ourselves a palm tree is going to be here. Yes, yeah, some kind of... Ah, oh, what? Are you kidding? It never rains in beach resorts. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, man, that's just sod law, isn't it? Why would it do that, Minecraft? Why you do this? Why are you so rude to me, man? Ugh, oh, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. But, oh well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Us Brits, we're used to the freaking rain, let me tell you. Oh, man, has been storming recently in the UK. It's been absolutely crazy, dude. <laughs> Oh, right, boom, ba boom, ba boom. Right, so, uh, palm trees, they sort of come out a bit, and then they sort of sprout off from there. So if I just do this... And then, yeah, okay, we can actually start bringing it down as well. I uh, don't see reason why not. Uh, okay, looking good. Maybe we can bring some bits down even further to give it a little bit of height variation. Yeah! That's looking pretty good, isn't it? Okay, and on the, obviously the final feature is, of course, uh, cocoa beans. I'm going to put one... If I know, I'm put, I think that's okay as it is, actually. You know, we don't want to have too many cocoa beans. I think that would be a little bit of a mistake. Uh, although saying that, I'm thinking of putting one there just because why not? Uh, we've got ourselves another torch. All torches are sacred. I keep saying it. They need to go ahead and be placed. Right, uh, let's go ahead and bone meal those. And then let's have a look at our creation here. Let us see what's been going down. So here we go. We've made ourselves our very first palm tree. Yeah! That's looking pretty good, isn't it? I mean, I'm not that well versed in terms of making custom trees, especially in survival Minecraft, but I don't think that's too bad. I'm almost thinking here, though, that it's a little bit too symmetrical. So I'm going to go and do that. Uh, although then again, I may just be overthinking it, which is something I am very guilty of doing. Uh, I, need, I need something with silk touch. Okay, so that's got silk touch. Uh, what if I do that? Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I didn't want it to be too OCD. I didn't want it to be too uh, symmetrical, if you will. So, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Fantastic. All right, so we've got ourselves a first palm tree. We've got ourselves a little umbrella chill area, which is pretty awesome. So, in the meantime, I think what I may do is uh, bring this pathway, sort of make it go through here, and then maybe we can make ourselves a, a house on stilts as well to finish off the episode. What do you guys think? I'm feeling like that's a pretty cool idea. So... Ah, oh, damn it, I need to not do that. I really need to not do that, because if I do that, I'm just going to lose all of my dead bushes real quickly. And that's going to suck, too, because, unfortunately, they are non-renewable. You can't just farm them out. As far as I know, anyway, obviously, please do correct me if I'm wrong. I would love to be wrong in this particular instance, because, yeah, like I say, they're non-renewable. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what we can do about the pathway here. And we're going to start laying out the foundations of a house on stilts. So, yeah, be back in a sec. All right, guys, so check it out. We are in the process of, well, trying to get out of here, actually, now. <laughs> we are in the process of making ourselves a house on stilts, as I said I would do. So we've got ourselves a little rear entrance here. Uh, this entrance over here is going to be the front. We've got ourselves, like, a, a front porch slash balcony, like they tend to have. And then this area down here is just going to go down here. I think I might put, like, a tiny little sort of pond in here or something, uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer nicer and then maybe make like some path blocks go around the edge so if i do something like this uh maybe i can replace that with sand so it could be more like a sort of smooth edge uh maybe what i could do is i could do this and then i could put some water in here uh, if i grab out some dirt do i have any dirt actually Come to think of it, if I don't have dirt, then we might be in trouble. Yeah, we've just got one bit of dirt. Great. Okay, right. In which case, uh, we'll have to go to plan B then. We'll have to put red sand at the base of the little pond here. 
So rather like this, I think it will look kind of cool. I think it will uh, suit uh, slash, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Blending, I guess. Uh, so let's have a look at it now. So if we put another bit of that there and then we can put this in here. Yep, looking good. And then let's go ahead and put ourselves a little water source in here. So let's grab this. Uh, let's grab another one. Put that there. And then put that there. And there we go. We've got ourselves a little water source. And then that is the little pathway going to it. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of wanting there to be a little bit of grass sort of on the border as well. What if I go ahead instead and just do this? So there is still some grass around. Hmm, that looks a bit too artificial now. Hmm. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just being way too picky about this. Probably am. Let's be honest here. I'm probably being way too picky about this. Uh, okay. And then let's do that. So, yeah, this place here is basically like a little yard. So, I can maybe put some flowers, like proper flowers. Or maybe I could put another jungle tree here, actually. Not a jungle tree, another palm tree. Ooh, now that's an idea. I can put another palm tree down. In the meantime, I need to go ahead and get this thing set up. I'm probably going to be a very basic building. So, I'm probably not going to build it with you guys. But, uh, yeah, I will definitely go ahead and get on with all of this. And, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back with a progress update. Final progress update of the episode, anyway, in just a bit. Alright, guys, and here we just about have it. We've got ourselves a tiny little settlement here, my friends. The start of this little desert settlement. We've got our house on stilts right here, which I think looks pretty okay. I think there's definitely some improvements to be made to this thing. If you guys have any suggestions, as always, head down to the comments area and let me know about it. But uh, yeah, I decided to get rid of the grass altogether. We've kept the path blocks, of course, but the grass, I feel like, just wasn't fitting in. So I decided to remove it. And in addition to that, actually, I feel I feel like I should therefore replace this back with regular sand. There we go. So it all fits in nicely. And uh, yeah, we've got ourselves another palm tree right here. As you can see, this one is dangling over the pathway, which again, I think looks pretty cool. There's glowstone nestled in at the top, and there's also glowstone in various places to light up the island as well, because I kind of don't want to have too many torches going around. I think underneath the stilts of the house, that's kind of an exception. Maybe I could just go ahead and just dot glowstone around there and not really worry about it, because you're not really going to see a great deal of it right so yeah yeah i'm feeling pretty good about this i'm feeling pretty good about this obviously again guys let me know your feedback in the comments area below but that is going to wrap it up for today's episode as always we're going to jump into the comment question of the video which is from x gamers x giorgio's 227 200 and then 27 or 20027 python will you ever consider doing vlogs please uh it's funny you say that actually because uh, at the time of this video going out guys i'm actually in the process of moving now it, you it may be a bit of a surprise to some of you guys but for those of you who are following me on twitter which you know self promo plug please do follow me on twitter if you do want to know of all the uh, you know latest updates in my life because i have been in the process of moving which is why videos from certain series have been a little bit bit sparse for example there's no longer daily terraria content for a little while because i'm actually very busy and i'm trying to make sure that i spread content across all series but uh yeah i i am considering doing some vlogs i'm uh, considering doing a a sort of house tour sort of a before and after kind of similar to how i did uh, last year when i moved into the first place uh, so i'm probably going to do a before vlog so you know touring the empty house we're currently in the process of decorating it but uh, uh, you know once that's done and before we start moving stuff in maybe we could do an empty house tour and then once everything is in i can then do another tour whereby you know we've got everything in place and everything's all good so guys if that uh, if that prospect excites you then uh, do be sure to let me know but ladies and gentlemen like i said it's time to end the episode thank you very much for watching guys if you did enjoy this episode and you are excited to see more it would be of great help to me if you would uh, leave a like rating it'd be super appreciated hit that subscribe button if you do not want to miss out on future content my friends let me know your thoughts on this place so far whether you have any uh, feedback or suggestions and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one